nature's dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a creamy broccoli and chicken soup. So you can totally leave the chicken out of this recipe and just make it a vegetarian broccoli soup. That's totally up to you. Let's go over the ingredients and then we're going to get started. Uh, we need some potatoes cut up and I have two over here medium sized ones. Lots of garlic cloves, uh, chopped up onion, celery and carrots. I'm using a little bit of chicken and I like to use the chicken thigh meat, the boneless chicken thigh meat. It's more flavorful than uh, breast, but you can use breast if you like or just, you know, any uh, mixed parts of chicken. I have two bags of frozen broccoli florets. I always have broccoli, frozen broccoli in my freezer, so that's what I like to use. I like to mix it in my pasta and just like take it out and put it in an omelet. And I use it all the time, so that's what I have. That's what I'm going to use. Feel free to use fresh broccoli if you like. We need a tiny bit of cream, a little bit of whole milk, salt, pepper, olive oil, and some flour. And water, of course. So you can definitely substitute the water for uh, chicken stock or vegetable stock. It's up to you. We're just going to put all of our vegetables in here. I'm going to turn it on. This is really simple. You don't have to um, saute anything beforehand. You kind of boil it all together and then you puree it and make the thickening sauce, which I'm going to show you how to do later on. And it comes together really beautifully. We're going to put the chicken in here and cook it together. Now, if you wanted to maximize the flavor, you could totally take this chicken and roast it while the soup is, is um, boiling. Just roast it in your oven and season it with salt and pepper. And then roasted chicken is way better than boiled chicken, but I'm keeping it simple today and light. And I'm just going to boil it all together, but it's up to you. I'm just giving you another option. I'm going to put both bags of broccoli in here. I know it's a lot of broccoli, but it is a broccoli soup after all. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. You don't have to worry about the seasoning right now because later on you can always check it and add more. Put a little bit of salt. And that's it for, for right now. We're just going to cover this and bring this up to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat to medium and let it cook and continue to simmer on a medium heat for about 25 to 30 minutes until all of the vegetables are tender and the chicken is completely cooked. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so my soup is done cooking for now. I'm, I've taken out all of my chicken and a few pieces of broccoli so I can put in there on the top and the carrot. The carrot is not gonna get pureed. And now I'm just gonna put um, all the soup in a few batches in my blender and I'm just gonna puree it until it's nice and smooth and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I've pureed my soup in three batches. And you want to make sure you're really careful when you're doing this if you're using a mixer. You could also do this with a hand blender if you like. And it's going to be really nice and smooth. I like to keep it nice and smooth instead of chunky because we're going to have some chopped up carrot in here, some shredded chicken that's going to add texture. And I just like for this part to be really, really nice and completely smooth. Now we're going to go ahead and make the roux that's going to thicken the soup. So we're going to begin by adding four tablespoons of all-purpose flour and about four tablespoons of olive oil. You could use olive oil, you could use butter, it's completely up to you. And the potato that, that was in the soup is also gonna act as a thickener, so that's why we don't need that much flour for this, just a little bit. And we're just gonna cook this down over medium heat until it's nice and nutty and the flour, the raw flour taste kinda disappears, it's just gonna happen really quickly. While that's cooking, I'm just going to measure out about two cups of whole milk. That looks perfect. Now I'm going to add my milk to this. Whisk it all up. And then I'm going to add my pureed soup back into the pot. And it's going to thicken a little more as this comes up to another boil again. Keep whisking it so the flour gets incorporated throughout the whole soup. While that's warming up over there, I'm going to chop up my carrots that are over here on the side. Now the carrots are going to add a really nice burst of color. And that's why I didn't puree them in there because it would make the soup kind of orange. And I want this to be a nice a green soup because it is broccoli soup. You want to know what you're eating just by looking at it. 
character, ready? And I'm just gonna shred up this chicken right here so it could be ready to go in the soup as well when the soup heats up. Okay, so it's beginning to thicken really beautifully. It's nice and hot. So at this point, I'm just gonna add my carrots back in here. I'll add my shredded chicken and the broccoli that I saved on the side that I reserved and I did in puree. I'm gonna give it another nice stir. And then I'm gonna taste it for seasoning. I'm pretty sure it's gonna need some more salt. And I was right, it needs another, about a teaspoon for my taste. Another thing I love to put in here, which I didn't mention in the beginning, are some crushed red pepper flakes for some heat. This is a really hearty soup that's great and it's really healthy, especially to feed to children. They won't believe that there are so many vegetables in here according to how good it tastes. And here it is. This is perfectly ready. I'm just going to add a little bit of heavy cream, just a touch for a little bit of richness. You can totally leave it out. So I'll put some of the soup in my bowl. Make sure I get some chicken, some broccoli, a little bit of everything in here. Look at that. This is such a great way to serve vegetables to children because you have potatoes in here, celery, onion, lots of broccoli. It's so healthy. I'm going to put in some more crushed red pepper flakes because I love it like that. And then I have some grilled cheese croutons here that I've made earlier. Make sure you check out this recipe. It's on my blog and on this channel. I'll put some in here. And I made these with mozzarella cheese and French bread. I have butter. Let me taste this. So flavorful, so simple, so easy, all made in one pot. Get the recipe, you guys, on www.demetriusdishes.com. I love to see pictures of your recreation, so post them on my Facebook page, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.